Hello and welcome to section 3 – Working with operators for stream data processing. In this section we start reviewing operators. We will learn what two types of operators are now included in RxJS and which of them the RxJS team recommends to use. Also, I will tell you about basic operators you can usually use in your daily tasks with observables. Map, filter, catch error, distinct until changed, scan and buffering operators. Before we learn the main topic of that video, working with pipable operators, we should first find out what operators really are. Observable produces a sequence of data and we can subscribe to fetch it. But what if we need to do some modifications to initial data before we feed them to some component HTML template? As you may remember, RxJS implements declarative programming paradigm. It means that each value can be transformed with predefined function or as we name it in RxJS, operators. Let's review definitions of operators from ReactiveX project. An operator is a function which creates a new observable based on the current observable. Subscribing to the output observable will also subscribe to the input observable. As you can see in the diagram, operators re-emit values to a new output observable and modify these values at the same time. There are two types of operators, pipable operators and observable prototype methods. So what is the difference and which one should we use? Here are two code examples. One uses pipable operators and another one prototype methods. They both do the same. As you can see, pipable operators just standalone functions. And starting from RxJS version 5.5, .5, they are announced as preferable way of using operators. You may ask why? Operators in a prototype are not tree shakeable by tools like Rollup or Webpack. If you didn't know that, tree shaking is a process of removing the code that was imported but not used in the application. So the final bundled project JavaScript file size becomes less. Pipable operator is just a function. So it becomes easier to combine existing operators in custom operators with specific logic. Take a look at this example. We generate values from 0 to 9 with range factory function. But we want to double each value and then filter values that are bigger than 5. It can be done with existing operators map and filter. But if you need that functionality quite often in your application, you can compose them in custom operator and then use it in any place of the code base to reduce the amount of code. To wrap up, let's repeat what we've learned in this video. An operator is a function which creates a new observable based on the input observable. The purpose of operator to modify or filter originally emitted values in the way we need for the project tasks. Operators can be pure functions or observable prototype method. Pure functions operators are called pipable because they can be composed with pipe method. You can build custom operators from other pipable operators.